Hello, my name is Nicola Featherston and I'm currently in the third year of my PhD with Chagasath and Rye. It's titled An Irish vs New Zealand Animal Comparison, or better known as INZAC. The project set out to compare Irish and New Zealand genetics and to most importantly validate the Sheep Ireland Replacement Index. Three trial groups were established, New Zealand, High Irish and Low Irish. Animals were selected based on the maternal indexes of both countries, known as the New Zealand Maternal Worth and the Sheep Ireland Replacement Index. Animals in the New Zealand trial group were ranked within the top 20% of animals, or the equivalent to five stars on our index. High Irish and Low Irish animals are ranked within the top and bottom 20% of the animals on our national database also. So in other words, they were five stars or one star animals respectively. Each of the groups contained two breed types, which you'll see here, Suffolk and Texel, all of which are pedigree animals. So what have we seen from the results to date? The year starts at breeding. All yews were artificially seminated to rams within their own trial group and their own breed. So for example, High Suffolk to High Suffolk, or New Zealand Texel to New Zealand Texel. Conception rates to first service are similar, averaging 81%, with overall barren rates at about 8% across the three groups after two repeat cycles with rams. Over the four-year study, New Zealand Joes have had a greater scan rate than either of the Irish groups. When we look at weaning rates, New Zealand and High Irish Joes tend to wean a greater number of lambs than the Low Irish Joes. The number of lambs reared per yew is a key driver of farm profitability and when we look at the drop-off between the number of lambs born and the number of lambs reared across the three groups, while accounting for any fostering or artificially reared lambs, yews of high genetic merit, whether of New Zealand or Irish origin, are more likely to successfully rear the lambs that they give birth to compared to the low Irish shows. Wouldn't we all love a yew that gives birth and weans two lambs each year? Well, the chance of this happening is more likely to occur using animals of high genetic merit, regardless of their country of origin. And wouldn't we also love to have yews that give us very few problems throughout the year? Well, we also looked at the survival rate of yews within the three groups. And while we operate a strict culling protocol here in Chagasath and Rye, culling for things like age, mastitis, prolapse, lameness, just to name a few, the greater portion of the yews of high genetic merit whether Irish or New Zealand, survive from one year to the next. I think the importance of selecting animals of high genetic merit on your farm can't be underestimated. From conceiving, delivering and rearing more lambs, to surviving longer in the flock, as well as their increased lamb performance, the benefits are clear.